everybody. God bless you. Give blessings to this organization, all the members, all the political, all the clergymen, politicians, council people, mayors, for coming to support this great event. Sam and the Puerto Rican Hispanic, Florida Puerto Rican Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, and also the United Third Bridge for their endeavor work and controversial, con excuse me, controversial and activism for all people. This is more than a Spanish organization. This is a people organization. And we like to pray everybody, no matter what religion, by your head, and we'll pray. Our Father in heaven, honorable God, Son and the Holy Spirit, we'd like to thank you and give you our blessings and thanks for your blessings for everybody. We came from near and far. We're doing a great change here. We're changing history. Here would be the beginning of, of new springs, new road for everybody. And America will become the land of the free for all people, all citizens, all cultures, united as one. That's why we call this the United States. And we'd like to thank you and bless everybody for the contribution, the sacrifice, even the time they set aside to come here. We welcome their presence. And when they leave and go home to their different homes, we'd like you to be with them, God, and take care of them. Take care of them forever. And we would also like for you to bless our president. Everybody didn't vote for him. Everybody think he's not popular. But like Paul on the road to Madison was struck down by God and changed from a oppressor of Christians to the apostle to the world. We'd like for you to do the same thing for our president. Make him, strike him down and change him. And make him a prophet, a evangelist of the world so we can remember and everything. I pray in your name. And I also like to thank you for bringing me back. I could have died. I could have been poor life. I've been fed by two. Uh, through a throng, but if you look at me, I'm an example that God is alive and he's working, he's working hard. Some people said when bad things happen to you, it's God will. It's not God will, it's the devil will. God is to bring all good things, all bad things come from the devil. But what God is, is the greatest damage management in the world. Whatever they ever do, would, no matter how tragic, God can bring it back and straighten it out. And these we ask in his name, his son name, and his Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, guys. I wanted to go ahead and um, take this time to read a special poem that our poet Augustus Williams has written for us. And so he has given me the honor to uh, read it for y'all. It's called The Winds of Time and Change. From the intellect of Isaac Newton and the, and the intelligent ideas was spawned by a beautiful brain, the two objects of different weights dropped from the window of a two-story building will fall through the air and arrive at the ground the same. This experiment was repeated and then the line was Newton's good, good name. Before the ideas of the students, colleagues, and friends to witness the miracle theories evolve into facts, sadly the next day in the universities his colleagues did not teach that. You see, science is exact. There's no arguments, it's fact. Always remember that with the forever mindful of powerful victory, you will encounter first conservatives, Lord, 
they are the worst. Like a big ball of string that seems to unwind forever. And if the conservatives have their way, the end would be never. Though the ball of strings will thin and eventually end, new ideas can be implemented again. So are the winds of time and change, and the fresh sweet breeze will comfort and refresh everything. And history will sing the songs of champions of change. You all know their names. Martin Luther King, Queen Elizabeth I, Pocahontas, John Smith, William Woolforce, John Newton, Washington, Franklin and Banner, Betsy Ross, Lincoln and Douglas, Harriet Tubman, Eleanor Roosevelt, Chief Anderson, Jose Acaba, Sonia Sotomayor, John and Bobby Kennedy, Malcolm and King, Mandela and Moore, Rice and Powell, Barack and Michelle Obama, Christopher Columbus and Ponce de Leon. There are many more just named. The same, sorry. I told you all, you know their names. Yes, the list is very, very long. But did you know that Lieutenant Colonel Douglas T. Peck? If not then, listen carefully to his song. Born January 7, 2018, Chattanooga, Tennessee, a graduate of St. Louis University. His first winds of change guided his course. His career started in the Army Air Corps, which evolved into the United States Air Force. His accomplishment has been earned the right to cheer, for he obtained Lieutenant Colonel the end of his career. There are many more accomplishments left on his list. Being an amateur historian of early European and early Spanish, his research led him to the Spanish archives of nautical charts. In ancient books, he was interested in the voyage the Ponce de Leon took, a master of the air and the sea. He planned the voyage from Spain to the Caribbean, to Florida, to take his own look on his trusted yacht, the Goody Bird. Using the same ancient charts, his voyage ch uh, started on the winds of time and change, following the current Gulf Stream until natural winds, current seas, 40 yards from the shores of Melbourne Beach, the discovery of the new knowledge ran through his spine like a chill of ice. To be sure of his new revelation, he did the trip twice and discovered that the results were the same and the halls of history will induct it in a new name. Lieutenant Colonel T. Peck is a part of the winds of time change. Augustus William Jr. Thank you. Yeah, I want to...